I'm sure you've already seen my reaction videos. Well, you don't know where I'm at yet. Would you like to know? I'm gonna disclose the location I was working at. Some of you guessed it, most of you did not. I've already disclosed the state, which was Texas, but the city I was staying in was Dallas. Dallas, Texas. It was definitely a unique experience. The second you drive there, you just see the pride that people have living in Texas. It's everywhere. I'm talking about that Lone Star. That star is on everything, from shops to highways, everywhere. Besides Alaska, Texas is actually the biggest state in the US. So big that with the work that I do, you don't have to work in hospitals throughout the country. You can work at hospitals throughout the state of Texas. There's so many. And let me tell you, I would take Gizmo out for a walk every night right after I get off work just so he can do number two, you know, poop and everything. We had a little buddy. We saw him at the same spot every night. I called him Taz. Oh, shit. But there was one night where he disappeared. But then we looked up and there he was. <laughs> there you are, Taz. Hi. Hi, Taz. We saw our little buddy of ours for a couple months. Gizmo, come here. He sees the neighbor's dogs and they don't get along so much. <laughs> I know, I know. But after a couple months, we did not see Taz anymore. Don't know what happened to him. I hope he did not get hit by a car. But if he did, I mean, that's the circle of life. Don't know what to say. Another thing I wanna point out about Texas is their highways. The structure of the highways there is amazing to see. I know y'all are probably thinking highways really out of everything, yes. The way it's constructed is beautiful, but because there's so many highways, the traffic is horrible. Chicago's is bad, I know California is bad, but so is Texas. But let's talk about the streets of Dallas. There was one night I was on my way to Deep Ellum. It's actually the, the party scene in downtown. And of course, protests follow me everywhere I go. It doesn't fail me. I mean to go somewhere else and there's a protest happening. Sure enough, I'm driving and all these people start rushing the streets. Animals do not want to die! Animals do not want to die! I guess this one was about animals. I'm not too informed with all that, so I'm not gonna speak on it. But what I will speak on is I got a ducky. <laughs> I have a Jeep, guys, and I had it parked in the parking garage at the hospital I was working at. After my shift was over, I go to my car and there I saw a rubber ducky. A nice, cute little purple one, too. Does anybody know what this means? And people informed me that I guess it's kind of like a welcome to the Jeep community type of deal. So I'm glad I know that because now I'm going to start doing that. Gizmo grew attached to Miss Elizabeth and when Miss Elizabeth ain't home, I get why Xena is sad because mommy's not here. Mommy left, so I get why Zena's sad. But why is you sad, Gizmo? Why is you sad? I'm here. I am here. Uh-uh. Y'all are depressing me. So that was Dallas, Texas. I had a lot of good times, but I also had a couple bad experiences. I'm sure you've heard it from my lives. I'm not gonna go deep into it. This leads me to the state that I'm at now. I will not tell you the exact town that I'm living at because of safety reasons, but y'all can keep guessing if you want to. We are at Arizona. Here I am. There's so much to see. I've already explored so much. I've vlogged already. Only been here for a couple weeks. Those will be posting soon, so look out for my vlogs, guys. As you can see in the background, I'm actually in the backyard of where I'm staying. This day is a little bit different. I'm used to just staying with one other roommate, but this time, I have five. <laughs> five roommates. But it's spacious, it's big, it's quiet, it's beautiful. You know what? Better yet, let me just show you. Here we are in front of the house. This whole pathway is parking. And right here is a side gate where all the tenants walk through. This is our entryway. Now this is only one half of the side yard. Just follow me. We'll go through this way.
This one here is the second half. Gizmo loves to piss on that tree, by the way. <laughs> Alright guys, let's go ahead and go to the backyard, which I absolutely love. I spend a lot of time back here. Just to relax a little bit. Very beautiful scenery here, that big old tree that I love. More seating there. As we walk down this way, the side fence to the left is a runner for dogs. If I'm saying it right, I hope I am. So let's walk out this way. And this is more seating. This is where I actually like to chill. That's where I'm recording right now too, by the way. As we walk more towards this way, there's a grill that we can all use if we choose to. None of us have done it yet. <laughs> it is getting colder outside though. Again, more seating. And this is the other side of the house. Not much going on there, but check this out. This is beautiful. Let me show you the fish. Wait, y'all can't really see this too well. Here you go, a lot better. I love seeing this during the evening. All right, let's get inside the house and I will show you where I'm staying. As we walk through the door, to the right is the living room where most of us honestly do not use. We were usually in our rooms. It's kind of like an apartment complex. So we all stay in our little apartments and shit. And over this way is the kitchen. Look how big this kitchen is. It was actually remodeled a few years ago from my understanding. Interesting enough, Miss Lillian, who is the host, she cooks for us almost every day for free. She don't got to, but she chooses to. I say, okay, since I don't cook, I'll eat. Look at the food in this fridge, okay? This is the community fridge. Everybody can get food from here. This is the dining room area where nobody sits. You can see the front of the house. Back that way is Miss Lillian's little apartment. She's got her room there, her office, so on and so forth. Let's turn off these lights. Let's be considerate of the light bill, okay? Even though we don't gotta pay that shit. Hey, what's up? That's the roomie. Check this out. Miss Lillian always lets us know what's for dinner tonight. As we walk down the hallway to the very end is the bathroom. These are the towels that we can use and they wash that for us. Two sinks. I mean, y'all ain't gotta really see this, but I'm gonna show you anyways. We got the toilet and then we got the shower. I mean, I don't know what else to show y'all, but this is it. It's very warm, very comfy, very expensive, I'm sure. All right, down the hallway are all the rooms. And this one here is mine, room number one. Yep, that's small. Mm-hmm, big old house, but small ass room. That's my desk, that's where I film. And that's my bed. I don't know if it's a full or a twin, but it's small as fuck. <laughs> and down here is where I put my hats. My shoes are under that table. Gizmo's food, his bed. And up here is the TV and the dresser where I have my clothes. And inside the closet, smart enough, is the fridge and the microwave. And on the other side of the closet is just my luggage. Guys, this is my neighborhood. This is what we see when I take Gizmo out for a walk. All right, so here I am, guys. I'm gonna enjoy this stage as much as I can. Gizmo, come here, now. Where are you going? You can't leave the backyard. Where are you going? Look at this, guys. Hold on, look at this dog. Come here. Look at him prancing. All right, let me lay you guys back down see if I could, I don't know, whatever. Okay, so I'm not the only one that's gonna enjoy this beautiful state of Arizona. You guys are as well. By watching my vlogs. Keep an eye out for it. Make sure you guys watch all my reaction videos, you know. I like to do a little bit of YouTube every now and then. All right, you guys, tell me what you thought about this vlog. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video, peace.